a votary of truth. Quotes from the interview with Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri. On 5th August 1972, Professor S. Anantanarayan of the English Department of Maharaja College interviewed Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri. This interview was recorded on his Gerard tape recorder. The interview was later published in the felicitation volume Shri Kantika by Professor S. Anantanarayan. The recorded interview is available with the family members and it is also there in the National Archives of All India Radio. New Delhi. For the study of history, therefore, archaeology, epigraphy, numismatic, the study of kindness, and all these and uh, along with these resources should be taken. Um, for example, taking uh, any period of Karnataka history, we have got uh, much controversy about Basveshwara and about Ramanjacharya and so on. Now, we have to face all these uh, questions from purely institutional point of view. Because the historian must be like a judge, and when a judge sits in with the court, he hears both the appellant and the respondent, and then pays the evidence as they submit, and finally delivers a judgment after mature consideration, taking in all the evidence. So, the historian also, in the position of a judge, truth is more sacred to him than propaganda. For example, about the Aryan problem in Indian history, more propaganda has been done by these interested parties. Napoleon, for example, said that Napoleon it is philosophy. There is a history of philosophy, but also a philosophy of history. We must understand that. The philosophy of history is necessary for, for the historian. A Western show me a world outlook. It must be uh, developed by the true historian. Uh, what about the Aryans? The Aryans. I wrote uh, the, pra the problem of the Aryans. Study Gali, in archaeological, literary, uh, astronomical, all kind of possible evidence to show that the Western theory that Aryans came from outside in India is substantially baseless. We have to, on the other hand, can argue that the Aryan migration was the other way from India to other countries. And and the Aryan problem, therefore, has existed quite as stated, it has been quite as. Indus Valley civilization is Aryan and especially Athal Vedic civilization and it represents the latest phase of Aryan civilization and not the earliest. They say that the Aryans came more than 1200 BC, but in 3000 BC it was already late. Our, we begin our Ithyasa Purana, that is the Mahabharata, in 3100 BC, that is the date of Mahabharata war and of Kali Yuga, beginning of Kali Yuga. Dr. Sheikh Ali, former head of the Department of History, Vice-Chancellor of Mangalore University and Vice-Chancellor of Goa University has got this to say about Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri. Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri ranks among those very few renowned scholars of our country who have studied history all their life and who believe in history as saints believe in God. A question could well be asked at this stage 
whether Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri is completely free from a philosophy of his own so far as history is concerned. Although he agrees with Ranke that one should not inflict one's own views on readers but allow them to draw their own conclusions. There is a limit to the observance of this principle. He subscribes to the idea of progress which promotes the concept of the limit of history. He has touched every intellectual, moral, material and emotional aspect of Indian life and society. He has come to the firm conclusion that our ancient past offers a set pattern, a set design or a style the basis of which was moral or spiritual force. The driving energy of all actions in this country was the inner urge to know the inner reality. Source Sri Kantika, the Fetch Shrift Volume. The former Vice Chancellor, Professor K. V. Puttapa, has got this to say about Sri Kantika Shastri while writing a foreword to Prapancha Charitriya Rupari Kigadu. Vidya Vyasada Ella Mattagalalyu Desha Bashe Shikshana Madhyama Vagabeka Dudu Agatya Anivarya Idu Kevala Swabasha Mohadinda Adua Matala Amarnath Ja Sir Charles Wood Madalada Swadesha Paradesha Gala Shikshana Tagmaru E Tatwavano Spashtavada Nudigalinda Pratipadi Siddhare Mysuru Vishwa Vidyani Levu E. Karyadali Ega Hedje and Nidahorti Adar Angavagi Praramba Wagirua E. Patya Pustaka Maleli Prapancha Cheritre Rupa Rekigulu Pustakavano Hora Tarutirudu Nanegesanto Shamanuntu Maduti Idara Kurtrugalada, Dr. S. Shekanta Shastri, Avaru, Itihasa de Li Unnata, Vyasangavanu Madirova, Pandita Ragidare, Hattaru Varshagalu, Vishwa Vidyanilea de Li, Pata Hevi, Nurita, Upadjaya Ragidare, Avara Panditya Matu Anubogalanu, Vulaganda, E. Granta Dinda, Vidyartigalge, Aparavada, Upakara Wagu Vadarali, Sunday Havilla. The Iconography of Vidyaranvatantra Written by Dr. Estrikanti Shastri in 1944 This is what the book reviewer has got to say on Iconography of Vidyaranvatantra in Prabuddha Bharata, May 1945. This small work, the result of detailed research by a scholar of repute, will serve as an excellent guide by students of Indian iconography in making a comparative study of various tantric texts. This is the opinion of Karl Feschinger of East Germany. A letter from Karl Feschinger dated 21st August 1952 on the evolution of Gandabhirunda. Please express my sincerest thanks to Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri for forwarding to me the interesting books Evolution 
of Gandabeerunda and early Gangas of Talakad, which I have found to be of great historical value. Especially the booklet on the Gandabeerunda with its drawings was of great interest for my study. The thesis of the derivation of the double-headed eagle on earliest Hittite monuments was of special interest for me, just as the double-headed eagle is of particular importance for German history. This is the opinion of Fuchs in New Review, November 1943, on Proto-Indic religion of Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri. A credit to the critical sense and scientific honesty of the author, former president of the Mythic Society, S. Srikantaya, in Quarterly Journal of the Mythic Society, July 1944, on Proto-Indic religion. He has attacked the problem with a remarkable knowledge, not only of Vedic literature and its exegesis, but of the history and archaeology of Mohenjo-daro and of a Sumerian, Hittite and allied people. This is the opinion of Dr. B. R. Gopal on Puratattva Shodhane, the first book in Kannada on archaeology written by Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri. Within quotes, Dr. Shastri in a lucid style describes the methods in archaeology shows that archaeology is now a science and not mere antiquarian speculation. The use of Kannada terminology for explaining several technical terms like artifacts, type, typological classification, culture sequence or illuminating. He explains the methods of exploration and excavation and of dating the artifacts. The interpretation is of course the last job of an archaeologist but the most important. The learned author gives a succinct account of this job of the archaeologist and the archaeology he includes epigraphy and numismatics also. Source Sri Kantika, the Fetch Shift volume, published in 1973, from Dr. B. R. Gopal's article, Dr. Shastri's Works in Kannada. Dr. Barry Lewis, Professor Emeritus of Department of Anthropology, University of Illinois, Urbana, has this to say about Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri's article, The Capitulation of Chitradurga, and his reference to Kannada Bakairu. Odds and Evens, a musical tribute. Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri was a connoisseur of classical Karnatak and Western music. At home, he owned a His Master Voice gramophone, a His Master Voice radio, a veena, and a harmonium. He has written many articles on music in Kannada, English, and Hindi. He knew many famous classical musicians of repute. In 1960, 
he suffered a paralytic stroke and was admitted to KR Hospital, Mysore. The famous violin virtuoso T. Chaudhaya sent in a message to the family members of Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri that he would give a concert in their residence on a Friday. He paid a musical tribute to the Almighty praying for a speedy recovery of health of S. Srikanta Shastri. Many decades later, the well-known journalist Ichinur Kumar reported live from the former residence of S. Srikanta Shastri on the Vans Road about this incident. It was broadcast over All India Radio, Akashavani, Mysore. Sir, Karikrama Ketam Yaswagata. Namaskara. Hey, sir. E. Vidwam Saraburu Yatani and Apartai Dantadu, other Koskara Pitilana Nudistantadu, A Vidwam Saruyaru, Mate Pitilana Nudistantaru Yaru. Either Baki Kalavas River Glan and Makilo Gariga Giri, sir. Omishore Nani Vaga, Jivan Sarastaya, I know Malavatarne Manenalitini. Amane Ayatane Apartai Danta, Dr. Sunday Kopada, Shikanta Shakti or Amane. A shaken the shasti or ye, anaro gyunta daga, our Krishna Rajan Raspate series dare. A Sundar Vadale, our Snehituru Adanta, Pitilu teach Oda Yanavaro, Tama Pakava de Dundege, our Manege, Tanga del Bandu, Atavidom Suru, Kiaras Patel in Alar Saidare, even a pitil teach Oda in Orbandu. Sangita the Mulaka, Piti, Kacheri, and Mulaka, Gulamukravi in Tene, Ashi see when Kacheri cut in the Gatanan every day. Auro, Piti Loti, Yoda Yanavara. Anta, Sauru de Basnait and Gajo and the Pratane Maditunto. But it is him with Domsuru, Maharaja College in the Lea Wodi, Maharaja College in the Lea Itihasa the Pantha Pakaragi, Jagat Prasida is on the Gatan every day. Srikanta Shastri and Films Yes, Srikanta Shastri loved Hollywood films, especially of historical and literary variety. The famous Kannada actor K.S. Ashwath and the director of the film Ranadira Kantirava visited Srikanta Shastri's house one afternoon. During the making of the film Ranadira Kantirava, they faced some problems as far as the storyline went. They sought some historical clarification from the well-known historian Srikanta Shastri and they visited his residence for the same. Source K.S. Ashwath as narrated to Professor S. Naganath. In 1974, S. Srikanta Shastri briefed a young film cinematographer B. Madan Mohan to make a historical film on the Indus Valley civilization. Source Professor S. Naganath. On 26th March 2018, over Chandana TV channel. During the general knowledge quiz program, the quiz master asked the participants a question on S. Srikanta Shastri. Here is an excerpt. Greek, Latin, Pali, Prakruta, Samskruta, German, English, Kannada, Telugu, Hindi, and Nubala. Bahu Bhasha Vidvansaro, Prachata Itihasa Karadu, Hago, Bhasha Shasra Gero, Agiru, Karnataka Dauru, Yaru E. Vidvansar, Isto Bhashagalana, Balanta Hover, Surhuandu Hundred of Pustaka Hagu, Inura Ipat Nalkaku, Hetu Lake Kanagalana, Kannada, English, 
ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಮತ್ತು ತೆಲುಗು ಭಾಷೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಲಿರುವರು ಯಾರು ಈ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸರು ಸುಳ್ಳು ಎರಡು ಇವರ ಶಿಷ್ಯರಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅನಂತಮೂರ್ತಿ ಜಿ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸುಬ್ಬಯ್ಯ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ವೆಂಕಟಾಚಲ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಮುಖ್ಯರಾದವರು ಸುಳ್ಳು ಮೂರು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಹೊಯ್ಸಳ ವಾಸ್ತುಶಿಲ್ಪ ರೋಮನ್ ಚಕ್ರಾದಿ ಪತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಯ ರೂಪರೇಖೆಗಳು ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಇವರ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ಕೃತಿಗಳು ಉತ್ತರವನ್ನ ನೋಡೋಣ ಎಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಸೊಂಡೆಕೊಪ್ಪ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಸರಿಯಾದ ಪುತ್ರ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಸಮ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ವಿಸಿಟರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ದಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಫೈಟರ್ ವೈ ಜಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಿಸಿಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ತಾರಾಸು ದ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ನಾವೆಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನಾಕ್ರೂ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಿಸಿಟರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರಿವೇಣಿ ದ ಫೆಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವೆಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ in 1962 to consult him over some historical aspects professor s shetter the well known historian was a student and a regular visitor to the residence of estrican shastri professor k nikam the former vice chancellor of mysore university visited estrican shastri to consult him about various aspects of advaita philosophy before he participated in a conference at abroad in 1963 the famous japanese historian noburu karashima an authority on south indian history visited the residence of estrican shastri and he wanted a copy of gangas of talakad and early gangas of talakad from the author in 1953 pandit yallappa shastri and karla mangala shrikantaya visited s shrikanta shastri's residence seeking his help in deciphering the enigmatic numerical text siribu valaya composed by the jain muni kumadendu who lived in ad 783 in a village near nandi hills bangalore north district dr h l nage gowda ias officer well known author and folklorist was also a regular visitor to shrikan shastri's house he consulted dr s shrikan shastri while writing his seven volumes of marco polo's travels another famous visitor to Dr. S. Shrikan Shastri's house was Sri Tekur Subramaniam, the well-known freedom fighter and Gandhian from Bellari, a four times MP.